Back for more advice with Uncle Noli? Thanks for joining us. You sent in the questions, I got the answers. Let's get after it. Our first question comes from Survey Indicates. Hey, Uncle Noli, I have just one question. How do you start loving yourself? Oh, that's simple. You lock the door, you light a candle, and drop the pants. Get after it. Uncle Noli knows. DJ Jibby writes, How do you know a fart is going to be wet beforehand? Ooh, fart confidence is a big thing, DJ. You gotta have it. If you don't, you're in trouble. Uncle Noli always travels with an extra set of shorts in his car, his golf bag, uh, sometimes his wife's purse. Absolutely. You know what? I once was golfing with a guy. He, uh, he lost confidence early. And you know what happened? He lost his shorts and both socks. That's right. He only had the white with one sock, but he didn't want to walk around wearing one sock. Everyone would know that he wiped his ass with one, so he just threw the clean one away too. Diarrhea. Uncle Nolan knows sometimes. Nubless Kid writes, I'm thin and I wish to gain weight. What should I do? Nubless, eat pasta. Pasta, cheese, bread. Tank it up there, kid. Weight gainer 5,000, whatever you need to do. They make shakes for that kind of thing. Ooh, fact, milkshakes. Milkshakes, pasta, bread, cheese. Go for it. Now, you're probably going to get really constipated and a lot of that weight will just be a cannonball-sized piece of shit inside your belly. But guess what? You're going to put on those pounds. Good luck! Uncle Noli knows. JDC Mustache Man writes, Hey, Uncle Noli. So my current friend with benefits has a thing for clowns. Ooh. Should I dress up or GTFO? Right. What if she wants to dress up as a clown? That's a problem. I kind of want a bolt, but it is the best sex I have had. I see. What do I do? Okay, Mustache Man, you have a serious problem here, I understand. Clowns are f***ing crazy. They're psychopaths. They're filthy. I don't trust them. I don't like them. I think I've made that clear. But I am a big fan of good sex. So, you do have a conundrum, as they say. Ah, uh, my advice would be to try to do the best you can. Uh, say, hey, you dressing up like a clown tonight, babe? I want to dress up like a guy who's about to be shot, blindfolded. Maybe you do that. Or maybe you do something where uh, uh, you're, hey, you're a clown with a bag over her head, you know? And then put like some horns on the boobs. So it makes it festive and fun. And you know, everybody said, just don't lose the good sex, all right? Don't lose the good sex. Clown tang. Uncle Noli knows. I'm from New York, right? Yo, Noli, zombies are beating down the front door, my man. You have three weapons on the table just over there. A frying pan, a 16-inch jumbo dildo, and that straight razor that you're far frightened to use, which you're picking up. All right, I'm from New York. Listen, number one, I ain't afraid to use a razor. Number two, what the hell would I have a 16-inch jumbo dildo doing in my house? So number three, frying pan. Frying pan. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Built Like a Twizzler Grant. Aw. Uncle Noli, how do I get out of the friend zone with a girl? Well, it's gonna be tough if you're built like a Twizzler, Grant. <laughs> you see what I did there? It's a penis joke. We do them every week. Enjoy. Best way to get out of a friend zone, kids. Simple and easy. Bang each other. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Nightshade. Uncle Noli, where should I go to get some of the best quality pornography out there? <laughs> oh, Nightshade, there's no such thing as quality pornography. It's all filthy. And everyone knows, the filthier the better. Uncle Noli knows. Punished Ghost writes, Dear Uncle Noli, I'm debating on what kind of dog I should adopt. Aw. My only choices are a German Shepherd or a Siberian Husky. Out of the two, which one do you think would be perfect to bring home? Ah, Punish Ghost. That's a very personal question. It's, uh, it's all about your own preference. Of course, if it was me, why not both? Hey, don't leave a dog alone at home. Give him a companion when you're not there. I mean, get him fixed, otherwise they'll just be humping each other all day long. 
Doesn't matter if they're guy, guy, girl, girl, guy, girl. They, they're weird. Dogs. Getting in heat. It's crazy. But yeah, go get both. Way better. Better for them. It's better for you. Okay? Two's company. Three's a crowd. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Claire. Uncle Noli, what's the best way to stop procrastinating? You know, Claire, the best way to do that is write lists. I know it sounds crazy, sounds too simple, but when you write things down on a piece of paper and you actually have to check them off, it seems like uh, it's easier to get those things done. It, you get a sense of accomplishment every time you do it. Prioritize them, but get things done. Cross them off, and trust me, by the end of the day, you're gonna feel so much better because you feel like you accomplished your goals that day. And anything that you didn't get to, not crossed off, they go on the new list for the next day and add the things you need to do also. So you just keep making lists every day. Okay, sound good? Write lists, trust me, in pencil, because you may need to erase. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Applesauce. Any advice for confidence and self-worth? I feel pointless unless someone needs me. Hey, Applesauce, you're forgetting the most important person that needs you, you. You need you. So you always should have your confidence and self-worth sky high if you need you. You gotta take care of yourself these days, okay? And then if you take care of yourself, you make yourself happy, then you can spread that love and that self-worth and that confidence out to other people, okay? All starts here, starts right here. You take care of number one, that's you. And it's not selfish, okay? It's not selfish, it's self-worth. Do it. Be yourself. Love yourself. Don't make that dirty. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Sharkbait. Uncle Noli, I don't know what to do. My fat, lazy, fixed cat keeps sitting like a human, legs spread eagle, making weird poses. What would be your best advice for this strange predicament? Well, Sharkbait, you have a very interesting pet. I suppose you could profit from that pet by posting pics on Instagram or set up a YouTube channel. Sounds like a very interesting feline. Hmm. Or you could also uh, maybe uh, send them to this site. <laughs> Mittens! Uncle Noli knows. Well, that about wraps it up this week. Stay tuned next week when we come back with more advice from your Uncle Noli. Cheers.